So this past week has been an interesting one, and I'm not just referring to what's been going on in Toronto, but across our TV screens, brought right into our living rooms, we've been seeing the tragedy and the calamity that's unfolded in the Philippines. How do you feel, how have you felt as you've watched people going through this incredible suffering? People losing their homes, millions of people. And I'm not sure what number two is correct, but 3.5 thousand to 10 thousand people having died in that typhoon. And then it took me back to 2004 with the Asian tsunami and seeing 230,000 people dying as an event of a natural disaster. And then we think back of all the different events that go on, come again to us through our TVs, the suicide bombings, the killings at schools, the mowing down of people in the malls, and all other such craziness. And that's, in comparison to what goes on in our Canadian world with uh, mayors and senators and other such antics, they, that it's almost insignificant and tame in comparison to some of these other events. Just what is going on in this world? What in the world is going on in our world? And how do we interpret what's going on to the skeptical people in, in the world? What are we meant to do? What are we meant to say? How do we minister to those who are hurting? To those who ask, where is God? And how can you believe in a God who inflicts such misery and suffering on people in this world? And even the elect, even the believers grow weary and doubt at times. So, today, I'm going to ask this question as the skeptic, Mr. Preacher Man, who's going to go up there in a minute. What is going on and how can you believe in a God who allows such things to happen? So, my first response would be to...